Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video on what makeup brushes I recommend. Thank you for the request. I am so happy to do this. I think it was a great idea. I do have a lot of this one brand in this video. I'm not sponsored by them. I bought all these brushes with my own money and I have to share them with you because they are amazing and they are so dirt cheap. But first, let's start with the face stuff and then we'll move into my favorite brushes, which are eye brushes. First up for face, I have a bunch of these AOA Studio Beauty Blender sponges and these are just super soft little beauty sponges and you get them wet of course then you use them they're a dollar each they take a lot of abuse and they last a really long time without ripping or tearing it applies the foundation flawlessly evenly and so quick for contouring i recommend the aoa studio high def brush f8 looks like this I love that angle there. It really gets into the contour areas and bronzer area. And I love this brush. You get a, it's a $2 set though. You get this brush and another brush, a smaller one. But, highly recommend this one. For blush, I recommend the Wet n Wild blush brush. Yes, it's the white and pink one. This is the only blush brush I really use. And you see it several times in my videos. Um, because this is all I use. I have like three blush brushes and this is the one I choose to use. Found it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. These white handled brushes by Wet n Wild are really good quality. For highlight, I like to use the AOA Studio F19. It's their highlighting brush. A dollar. You cannot beat this. It is. These brushes are so soft. I don't have any shedding issues. They have not fallen apart on me. Um, no issues whatsoever. And it is the perfect size for highlighting all over your face. Love this. Highly recommend. Now, the brush I recommend that's going to buff all of your face products out is an OD, but it is so good. I've had this brush. I'm not even lying when I say this. At least eight years. Okay? And I just keep it cleaned. And, um... No shedding issues. It's not falling apart. It's still super sturdy. I think I paid five or eight dollars for this from Elf. This may be a ten dollar brush in Elf's line now. I don't know, but if they still have this Kabuki, definitely look into getting one. It's so nice and soft. It's unbelievably soft. If you own one of these, you know what I'm talking about. It's so soft. This little Kabuki blends stuff out so nicely, seamlessly, and so fast. You see this in the videos all the time because it's a tried and true brush for me. Next up, we have Real Technique brushes and we're moving into our eye brushes now. If you have small eye space like I do, these are great. These are great. They're just shadow brushes. They're from Real Techniques. Like I said, real nice quality. You can buy these individually at Walmart. And I think they were about $6 each. But for color placement, really packing on the color, these brushes are phenomenal. And once again, if you have small lid space area, definitely pick one of these up. Okay, I went a little out of order there. Oops. I have a few angled brushes that I do my brows with. I don't want to mention any of those because it's just an angled brush. There's nothing special about it to me. But this guy right here is the guy that I use for the highlighting and the chiseling out of the brow basically. Cleaning up the brow with the concealer. So this is AOA Studio F16. I need to pick up another one of these. Once again, no shedding, no issues with this. Cleans up so nicely. And this is the only brush that I use to apply concealer to clean up my brows. It's amazing. And it's so underrated and never talked about. This brush is awesome. Super tiny. It is their concealer brush, but I only use it for brows because I think it's too tiny for other concealing stuff. But that's just me. Now, moving on. So... Because we are talking about the brow area, let's move on to a highlighter brush. So this is the AOA Studio 
E121 and it's a large shader brush is what it is but I like it because not only is it large but it's fluffy it's not stiff it's very fluffy so this is gonna be good for your brow highlight placement as well as blending it down and it's so fluffy it just makes for perfect blending down and yes these are a dollar each I can't talk enough good about these brushes the hair they are just so good highly recommend any of these AOA studio brushes now on to a blending brush from AOA studio and sorry the rest of this video is AOA studio but for a dollar you cannot beat the brushes these brushes are so soft for a dollar now this one's the E112 and it's so soft so fluffy perfect for blending out edges or crease transition placement and wipe it off and do your outer corner as well or and then you know just use it for blending purposes it has so many purposes and I really love this one for the lid space from AOA studio is the E122 I have two of these in my collection and I want to get more it's a flat shader brush small perfect for those small lid spaces and it's not super stiff but this is perfect for packing on color and I use these a lot you see them a lot in my video highly recommend that as well now this is E123 and it's their eyeshadow smudger brush it's flat kind of stiff but still soft and I love this for color placement on the lower lash line I'm really into placing colorful shades down there so this works out perfect it builds up the color and puts it exactly where I want it moving on to the big mama jamma and the finale of the video before I show you the brushes in this kit from AOA studio it's a brush holder container kind of thing um, with fake leather here it's pink this is ten dollars so not only are you getting ten brushes but you're also getting a cup to hold them and another cup literally this is how I use them another cup to put your dirty brushes in yes yeah, so what's not to love about that and for ten dollars guys ten dollars you literally cannot beat that so some of these brushes are dirty we're gonna show them anyways so here are your 10 brushes I've done a complete review on these they're amazing they're great you need them ten dollars ten dollars they're cruelty free you need them you need them all this stuff's cruelty free you guys have to check out shopmistake.com I'm not affiliated with them I just love them eye brushes this kit is called all about the eyes these really quick because I'm going to link the full review in the description box so real quickly you get e130 blending brush and a blending brush but also color placement because I like to use this for my transition color in my outer corner okay up next is e127 these can, are not sewed individually either but it's a more fluffier brush in comparison okay so this is gonna be best for color placement and transition this is gonna be best for your blending of your outer corners um, or I mean in your crease and blending highlight with your crease so blending super fluffy so soft now this is the E129 this is perfect for lid placement or brow bone highlighting or and I love this because um, this I use this for outer corner the other day but if you turn it like this in your crease like use it in sideways you get the perfect crease placement that's not overdone and it's perfect for those of you who have hooded eyes or don't know much about crease placement and are afraid that you'll overdo it you just turn this baby to the side I've done some tutorials using this technique and I will link them in bel below if I can find them but um yes perfect for that E134 perfect for inner corner highlighting lower lash line color placement several different things E132 now this little guy inner corner highlighting outer corner placement lower lash line several things you can do with this little brush E126 big fluffy brush super fluffy perfect for blending out those edges this is a great eyebrow brush by the way it's E133 very nice to use with the AOA Studio pomades. Very nice. So you get an angled end and you get this bully end. Very good brush. 
the E131 is perfect shader brush. It's flat, it's kind of stiff but soft, and perfect for color placement. Yes, need this to pack on that color. E125, this is fluffy angled brush, and I'll be honest, this is one that I don't really reach for, but this would be good for highlighting highlighting your brow bone your cheekbone whatever i mean it's nice and fluffy e128 e128 here and it is just a more like a pointed fluffy blending color placement brush this is going to be good for smaller lid space of color placement in your crease outer corner you can use this for blending you can use this to place inner corner highlight there are so many uses for these brushes. They don't have to be only for their intended use. That's literally all the brushes I recommend. Check the description box for additional links like always guys. And don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, ring that bell if you haven't already. And thank you always for watching. If you have any other requests or comments, please leave them in the comment section below.